do something, Big B, before it completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, I did. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lap dog. Come sniffing around this place. The rich fucks in the woods need a shake. <laughs> Yeah, right, Bigby. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Nice. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. You look nuts right now. You realize that, right? It's kind of hard to take this seriously with that all over your face. It's weird. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. We have to go, now. 
What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. Yeah, good. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. What? You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? <laughs> you want a shoulder to cry on? You didn't care then, and you don't care now. That is not true. Not true at all. I thought we had some common ground, could discuss this like gentlemen. Just forget it. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. My dear Annie, oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve it. It's hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. 
Help? No. I'll be doing the questioning from now on. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. <sighs> Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this blue dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. I asked for you at the bar and your friends acted like you weren't there. Why would they do that? Look, I got nothing to say, so just... just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. We'll see. I prefer to play things by ear. Getting pretty tired. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Take a good fucking look. Take a good long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you. I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me now why your friends covered for you? They're scared of you. That's all there is to it. And they didn't want trouble for me. I didn't kill nobody, all right? I didn't. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? Just forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke. You, you took my smokes. We, uh confiscated his belongings for the time being this was all we could find on him in any case nothing exceptional to speak of much like the man himself I'd say uh, this This is really... what's the point of this? <coughs> Thanks. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I... I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. Woody, just tell us what you know, so you can go home. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? 
Who wasn't supposed to be there? I... I can't get into it. When are you gonna let me go? You ever sober? Let me... Let me get a swig of that. Want some? Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? The girl. Which girl? I can't. Just... just let me go. Stop protecting whoever murdered these women. I don't care what your friends have told you. You have to tell us what's going on. The girl. It was... Faith, all right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This... I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. I should be leading the interrogation. We can't have that. Why? Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going nowhere. Come on, man. They're cutting off circulation. <sighs> Who were you expecting? Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? A bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's... Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually comped me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't, don't tell anyone, Bigby. Gren and her, that whole bar, they just... They wouldn't understand. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. I was under the impression you were just here to watch. I am here to find Snow White's killer. And seeing how much you've embarrassed yourself, I'm glad for her sake that I am. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them.
hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. Or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. 